All right. Vlog number 23, 21, and 22 were in one episode. And today I am out for my Sunday brunch-ish time walk. And I am walking in a new spot that I haven't walked before. I mean, I've been out here before, but not for a walk. Um, and there's some definite incline, some definite, definite increase in elevation. Um, so my legs are burning a little bit and I am realizing I have to um, tighten up my sneakers or my, my Merrells, my hikers again, my, I think they're trail runners. Um, so anyway, I have to tighten those up. So I decided to stop and record the vlog here out on Tozer Road at, uh, uh, it's some sort of business building out here. So <clears throat> what I wanted to talk about today are uncomfortable things I learned about health and wellness when I decided I wanted to become healthier and more well. And the first thing I learned is that a lot of the stuff out there that's marketed for health and wellness is not marketed for me. It felt very, very much like myself as a larger, rounder person um, was, n was not who things were marketed towards. Like it didn't feel like it was for me, um, even though it was for me. Uh, so what I mean by that is that um, a lot of the stuff that I needed was or is marketed towards thinner, already healthy people. Not that thinness is equated with healthiness, um, but people who are already well and healthy. Um, I felt very excluded from a lot of the things that I needed to purchase as a rounder person with health issues. Um, so that was the first thing that I learned is like the first thing I felt was this is not for me, uh, which I think probably probably pushes a lot of people away from buying health and wellness things. So the other thing that I learned is that um, it's difficult to find um, athletic wear for a larger body. Um, so like I had to go and um, buy, you know, sporty clothing, sports, sportswear and, and the like, um, sweat wicking clothing that I hadn't ever needed before. This is the last time I purchased any sort of clothing for athletics um, was when I was in my early 30s. And um, I didn't have to worry so much about the sweat wicking capabilities of my clothing because I was going to the gym I basically walked in with what I was going to work out in, walked out, went home, showered, not a big deal. Now I am being active for hours at a time. And when you have a larger, rounder body, uh, sweat wicking becomes very important, especially if you are going to be physically active for more than like, say, half an hour to an hour. Um, that moisture held against your body is very uncomfortable and causes chafing and all sorts of health issues. Uh, so I had to go out and buy sportswear, um, which one of the things I found is going back into the, this is not for me, finding sportswear in my size was difficult because there wasn't a lot of it on the shelves. I had to order most of the stuff that I needed online because they didn't carry it in store. So I went into the store and there were, you know, extra small, small, medium, and even large, but then the sizes that I needed as a larger, rounder body were, you know, kind of segregated into one rack, um, kind of hidden away where it couldn't be seen easily, it couldn't be found easily. Uh, and then on top of it, the sizing charts for it were kind of ridiculous uh, and didn't make a whole lot of sense. So that was a whole other set of issues. Um, then the other thing is that it's really expensive to buy sportswear. And, you know, for me, part of getting healthy is that as, as I become healthier, I am going to lose weight. That's not my main focus, but that is part of what's going to happen. And so things stop fitting relatively quickly. So um, if you're looking for any advice or any ideas here, especially if you're buying, if you're someone who needs to buy a sports bra, um, buy one that fits well 
um, because it's not going to fit well soon. Um, because uh, I, I know that I lose weight in the upper chest area um, more quickly than I do other places. So that's a thing to, to take into consideration because sports bras are really expensive, especially if you're looking at larger sizes. Um, so that that's a whole thing. Um, I could do an entire rant about buying sports bras because it was the most difficult aspect of this whole process. None of them fit well. None of them felt good. Um, I had to adapt the eventual sports bra that I did buy to actually fit me um, and be comfortable. It, it fit, but it wasn't comfortable. Um, the other thing that I've learned early in this health and, and wellness thing is that clothing stops fitting well really quickly. Um, especially like, I'm just going to talk about underwear. Underwear is like a good example. So I had really comfortable underwear that fit me really well. Um, and within two months, it all stopped fitting. It was sagging, it was bagging. As I was going for my walks, it was sliding down. It was super uncomfortable. So I had to go out and I had to buy all new underwear. <clears throat> and also athletic sweat wicking underwear was really important because that is super uncomfortable. So that was, that was an uncomfortable thing I had to learn. Um, and yeah, the, it, it just was a lot. I spent a lot of money um, buying like undergarments to that fit and then now they're getting loose again. So that's like a whole other thing is like, I'm gonna have to buy a whole new round of underwear and sports bras because things are not fitting well. And I haven't lost that much weight. I've lost maybe 10 pounds since the start of this, um, which is not a lot of weight compared to what I actually need to lose or, or you know, should lose for health. Um, yeah, so that was, that was a big deal. Um, going back to the sports bra, it was overly complicated to purchase a sports bra that fit the sizing, doesn't follow the regular sports bra sizing or a regular bra sizing. So you end up looking for like a triple X or a quadruple X. And then it's rated to fit like all the way down to a D to up to an E. And that's, that's just not realistic. I just, I don't understand why they, these manufacturers won't just size their sports bras like they do regular bras. Um, cause yeah, you just, you need something that fits and you're going to end up buying another one. And a good sports bra is going to cost anywhere from 60 to over a hundred dollars. It's so expensive. Um, so yeah, so that's, that was like a huge thing. And I could, I could rant and rant and rant about how uncomfortable they are and how just ridiculous they are. Um, and expensive, so expensive. Uh, let's see, what's the other thing? I've got, I've got little notes in my notebook. Um, so clothing stops fitting well, specifically your underwear, your bras, then like your pants, and then finally your shirts. Like I found like I can get away with wearing um, my shirts that were larger for longer than I could like the underwear, sports bra, and, and even the jeans. Like I've sized down in my jeans, but I can still wear the larger size jeans for a while. And it's, I'm going to also be able to alter them so that they can fit. I have those skills, but like I'm, I'm going to have to go thrifting at some point because they're just going to be too big to even alter down in size. Um, so that's just like an added expense of like thinking about like, okay, what, what size jeans do I need to wear now? Or what size pants do I need to wear? Um, it's just like huge. It's just so strange. Um, then an un another uncomfortable thing, the last of, of the five things that I'm talking about today is, uh, my skin has started to feel different. Um, pr particularly in the places where I carry excess weight. Um, it's like, loose and squishy feeling, which, um, is very uncomfortable. Cause you know, when you're heavier, like your skin is kind of tight and, and full, and then you start to lose weight. And it's kind of like a balloon that's losing air. Um, things are squishy and soft and uncomfortable in a whole new way. Um, 
also like clothing doesn't stick <laughs> as well as it used to. Um, so yeah, so like these are all like, like just like weird things that I've noticed as I've started to become a little healthier, as I've entered into this health and fitness journey. Um, it's just, it's a weird thing. And I thought I'd talk about the like first five uncomfortable things that I've noticed um, as I've been in this journey. Uh, so that is today's vlog. Um, I'm getting some interesting walking footage. I'm in new spots. I'm actually headed to a um, little little mall, shopping mall area where there's a Staples because they have backpacks um, that were on the clearance rack the last time I was out there. If they don't have them, um, I'm just gonna walk home with my current backpack, which is a good packable pack. And I've been using it on weekends because it's different than my week weekday pack. And I don't, my weekday pack, I have a lot of things that I take to the office with me that I don't necessarily need for a long walk. Um, or a, like, I just, uh, it's set up differently than what I need. So I'm looking for another backpack um, that, you know, might have a laptop sleeve, a little organization, but mainly a place where I can put camera gear. Um, so I'm headed out to Staples. It's about a mile and a half from my house. Um, and I'll probably take another mile and a half to two miles to get home. I might stop for a cup of coffee. I might not. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I'm also on the opposite side of town from where Bean Trust is, which is kind of a bummer because I, maybe I'll go out tomorrow and get a cup of coffee at Bean Trust in the morning. Uh, cause it's supposed to be warm tomorrow too. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I also might not have sidewalk on a lot of this this route. There are bikes, bike um, bike paths that I can uh, walk in. But um, yeah. So anyway, that's today's vlog. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Um, thank you for the likes and thank you for the comments. Um, remember, if you are looking for type two diabetes accountability buddy or someone to help mo if this motivates you um hit like and subscribe and all of that that stuff if you really like what i'm doing head over to my Kofi account and buy me a cup of coffee um you know and and you know comment down in the comments if you're looking for some accountability in terms of like getting your health and your wellness on track thank you for the support thank you for just being there and I'll see you next time and uh, take care. Bye.